What is up, magic, <laughs> magic missiles tossing <laughs> lock tarts? They're really excited about this show. <laughs> I am <laughs> I am Malcolm Max, and you are watching America's Next Top Model. <laughs> Tonight's show, we are talking about the next new next generation of systems. Is that right? Do we want one or do we not? Let's go or slow down, bro. I, I, I worked that on the crowd earlier and they loved it. We didn't. Oh, but you cannot have a full revolution without your wingman, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> the Joe wow. Shire. Well, what's up, guys? I have a dream, and my name is Josh Shire, the Joe Shire. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to be taking you through our segment we call Pitch This. It's a little contest that we do here at Geek Down where it gives you a chance to pitch us an idea, and we debate who the winner is. We got some cool prizes, including some tokens for an Xbox 360 raffle that we do at the end of the month. Today's question is, uh, based on the theme of the show, if you could add one feature to uh, the next gen consoles that will eventually be coming out, what would it be? Or if you can fix one thing, what would it be? Go ahead and tweet us the answer, and then after your answer, go ahead and put at Geek Down Show to qualify. <coughs> and then at the end, we'll tally up like what the best answers are, and uh, our lovely chat host will pick three winners, and we'll debate who the grand prize winner is. And you're gonna win some, uh, you're gonna win a really cool shirt from nerdkungfu.com. So be ready for that. But uh, I got some friends here on the show, and if I'm a uh, really. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., then I got the Dalai Lama right next to me. I was gonna go with Mahatma Gandhi Jr. It all works. I like that. It all works. All right. <laughs> What's up, internet? I'm Brett Noborikawa. Hey, at the hey. Stupid. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> every week, every week. <laughs> at the Stupid on Twitter, and I'm gonna take you through the geek-worthy news in a few minutes. But first, we got a very special guest tonight. Flitz, yeah, who is it? Yeah, we do. Our guest tonight is the amazing, the beautiful, the talent, the model, the actress, the host, <laughs> woman of many hats, Miss Meredith Molinari. Hello. Thank you for having the show. Oh. We're excited, excited to have you here. I'm excited to be here. Someone, someone else on the show who projects as well as I do. Right? And we got so much energy on this side. I don't know. You guys are really going to have to keep up tonight. It's color G. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't yell at movie screens. I do. They deserve it. <laughs> and our director <laughs> up in the booth, moving the show right along, all sexy like Mr. Matthew Stubbe. <laughs> <laughs> what? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. I got a lower third this week, so suck it, nerds. <laughs> Three hour tour. Yeah. Three yeah. hour tour. I, yeah, yeah. Keep it up, Juvenshire. Keep it up. <laughs> Come on. It's and catch up. introducing our new cast member. The new Uncle Phil's wife from season three <laughs> of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Miss Chrissy Lynn. <laughs> nice intro. Hello, thank you, thank you. It's so Welcome. nice to be here. It's good to have you. Not that I've had you. I've no. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, yeah, you have. Don't lie. lie. I'll see you later tonight, boo. Ooh, this is a bit <laughs> awkward. <laughs> So, before we go into Geek Worthy, which is absolutely geek worthy sometimes, we're okay. going to talk to Miss Molinari. So, M.O., I'm going to call you M.O. I like M.O. Yeah, M.O. So, M.O., <laughs> the new season of The Tested is starting, so yeah. I've heard. Yeah, we actually are doing um, the same thing we did last year. We're doing online voting. So all of our fans that want a chance to get on the show, um, you can go to thetester.com and apply for one of our casting calls. All you got to do is make a profile, put up some videos about why you think you should be the next tester. Round one uh, goes all the way through September 16th. So you have until September 16th to get up there and get your votes out. And then after that, we'll go to round two after the top 100 is picked. And the person at the end who has the most votes is actually going to win a spot on our show as our 12th contestant. And that gives them a chance to be a professional tester. Yep, you get a professional tester. And then the winner of the tester season three is actually doing things a little differently. You're not going to actually work for Sony in San Diego. You are going to work for Santa Monica Studios. Home of the oh, God word. of War wow. franchise. Okay, I don't know so if any of you heard of that before, but um, yeah. Home of Mahalo wow. video game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So yeah, so you get a chance to work on a PS uh, exclusive title on the Santa Monica Studios. And wow. if they already exist in LA, you don't have to leave LA. Wow, season exactly. one you and get two. You that signing bonus like for yourself. Pissed. You don't have to use it for your moving costs. <laughs> that is highly so, tempting. Uh, are we going to share what this exclusive title is? No. Nah. Absolutely not. We're going to keep you guessing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're going to finish casting up this year, and then the Tester Season 3 will air. Um, uh, beginning of 2012. It's God of War, Kratos is uncharted. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
on. <laughs> Moving on to like Geek Worthy. <laughs> Brett, take it away. And now a physical challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, big news out today. Steve Jobs, you know him. He's the guy with the glasses, the turtleneck. He stepped down as CEO of Apple, which Rest is pretty big news. Here you he see. He was this tall. <laughs> <laughs> after you stepping must be down. this tall to buy an iPad. He once caught a fish this big. <laughs> I, 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 I that was back when he was this tall. <laughs> <laughs> it was very pensive. Mm. <laughs> that's like his, that's like his and picture his in backstage impression. Hey. <laughs> oh, I think that alone qualifies Whoa. us as geek worthy. Yeah, you top that. <laughs> you top that. Nope, moving on. <laughs> Global <laughs> geek news. What the hell is that? <laughs> wow. All right, so uh, just stole the show, <laughs> man. Rob. No, that, he colored this show. And this show. week we actually like introduced him, and there he goes. We give him too much credit, and he uh, and runs with it. <laughs> but uh, with our buddies over at GlobalGeekNews.com, they got another treasure there on the internet. They sent us wow. this awesome image. Oh, oh it's, yeah. it's a three-fingered muffin. That was found off of someone's foot. <laughs> <laughs> some no. people shaped like Jesus, some people shaped like the Millennium Falcon. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah that is a Millennium Falcon pie. How, well, I don't, I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing an alien <laughs> mandible. It looks I think it needs to turn it. Maybe if it was a different What's angle, a, it would look more like a Millennium Falcon. You know what? I don't exactly want to describe what I see. I'm just going to <laughs> about 10 <laughs> minutes <laughs> in that Millennium Falcon's cockpit. Like, I don't know. Wow. It looks like a big skin flick to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I bet it's a tasty piece of pie. Uh, uh, Chrissy, what, what's, the, uh, what's the audience saying about the, uh, the Millennium Falcon pie? Um, well, they think you're inappropriate. But anyways, the DCD <laughs> says it's the Millennium Falcon biscuit. Um, the alien return. It's a Millennium Falcon I want in my mouth. Um, they all, they, I want every Millennium Falcon <laughs> in my mouth. Kevin Hunter Gale says, Godzilla? I don't know what that is. All the jam, two, three, four, six. A muffin, three fingers, it's Vigo. <laughs> uh, movie Matt, uh, no, wait, wait. Uh, everybody Wally wants it, everybody likes it, everybody can kind of yeah. see it except for Flitz. Were you the one who couldn't tell what it was? No, I can't really tell. It looks like an alien mandible. Like it looks like yeah. It, was, like that. Oh, it looks like wait, the hand that activated wait, 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 the machine. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. upside down. Oh. Let's come back to the picture. Wait a second. The Wally, see the Wally says it's the Millennium Falcon. Oh, oh, oh that, I, you should tell the Wally how to spell Millennium. <laughs> <laughs> Millennium. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm seeing the, uh, I'm the, seeing the alien hand now. Wait, this... what is the name of that movie on Mars? Total Recall. That's, yes. It looks like the hand. Quake. Oh, oh, start the reactor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that starts the reactor. That's what I see. <laughs> I can see that. I don't see no damn Millennium Falcon. The Shocker. <laughs> so is the Geek Worthy. Well, Uxula well, says it's the Shocker. It, it, oh, it's, it's the Shocker. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> is it? Punch it, Chewy. Is it oh. geek worthy? Is it geek worthy? Ah, uh, yes. I'm a big fan of desserts. I think it was it was missing some preparation. I, I think there was there was nothing on top. I didn't know what kind of pie it was. Was there not enough hair in that pie? Oh no, no, <laughs> don't go there. Please don't go there. I don't, I don't need that. I need it. <laughs> I, I can't say it's geek worthy. I'm not. I'm not. I think the person who made the pie probably put a lot of thought into it, but maybe not a lot of effort. Because <laughs> there's no details. You can't. You can't see the top we, we of it. All more, the little like doodads on the top. More. Well, there you go. You're 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 kind of in the middle. Doodads. But whatevs. Moving on to the topic. So this is the longest running generation of video games ever in the history of ever. Uh, from 2005, I believe. Yep. Till now, which we're in 2011, and this is almost over. Um, so the question is, is it time for a new console generation, or should we just hold off? Uh, I'm, I'm a little torn on it. Um, personally, I, I, I have my Xbox Slim. I'm staying away from the Kinect. I'm happy with the console that I have right now. Uh, we'll go into more detail on what actually needs to happen. But uh, Brett, what are you, what are you thinking? Uh, I think, no, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that can still be done with this current generation, like Xbox, Microsoft keeps throwing out new dashboard updates, new toys and things for us to play with. There's a lot left to do yeah, with this console. The, the toys aren't great though. Hey oh, guys, I bought a Kinect. Let's use this only when we're drunk and hanging out together once every three weeks. Yeah, it's still fun to play with. What? <laughs> um, I'm Meredith, go. <laughs> um, 
I would say that unless a new console is really going to bring something incredibly exciting and new to the platform that we don't already see, I, I think there's still a lot we can do with what we have. Um, I mean, we already are looking at 3D. We're already looking at motion controllers. I mean, there's already so much going on this platform. I mean, seriously, what is the next generation going to give us that we don't already have? That would be my question. If they can, like, blow me away and show me something that I haven't seen before, I'm all for it and I'll get excited well, about you're it. You're not blown away by the Wii U? I mean, you have a Wii screen in your hand. Wii no, Wii no, no. Wii okay. Oh, sorry, it had to happen. <laughs> it had to happen. <laughs> I mean, the Wii I U mean, has that. I have an, I can't, I, all I can say is that I did not get a chance to play the Wii U. I was there at E3, and the line was longer than some of the lines I've waited in at Six Flags. So I did not did wait Did they get two a, hours. a Wii U at Six Flags, though? No. no. But they, they, <laughs> were those lines so long only because what else was really uh, big at E3? The Vita. The Vita. Ah. Uh, did that, that, okay, now let's look at like, the next generation of like uh, handheld, handheld right. gaming. Which I think is an interesting topic. Uh, personally, I don't see myself going out to buy the uh, the Vita. It, I'll just buy games for my PS3 and enjoy it on a giant screen. But what they've <clears> been <throat> able to do, what Sony's been able to do with the PSP, yes, I will say, is amazing. Yeah. Like you're looking at the first of all, the graphics on something that small right. had me blown away. I think what turned me on to because I haven't had a portable <laughs> since my Game Boy back in the day, <laughs> and um, <laughs> it was the first gaming thing I ever earned was a, was a Game Boy. But what I think blew me away about it um, was the fact that if you you know are like me and you sit in audition rooms for hours on end waiting. It, you have to waste time. And all of us spend so much time on our phones playing games on our phone. And I think this took it to another level where you have the back touchscreen option that you can use. And let's say you're playing the game. Yeah, I just did that. I did that. Um, let's say you're playing the game on, on your Vita. You can go home and pick it right back up on your PS3. So there's that compatibility issue, which I think is really awesome. Now, well, I, I like that you mentioned the whole back touchscreen. Yeah. Was that completely necessary in a handheld game? It's like, oh, all right, guys, 10 buttons wasn't enough. Right. Now you can touch the back. Well, it's not right. necessary, but yeah, I mean, but they're throwing the everything they can. They're throwing everything they can to these handhelds and letting developers play with it. More toys in the sandbox. Yeah. Look the next thing. Okay, speaking of all these add-ons, the, one of the root things that gamers go for is uh, graphics. So, will more power? Do we? What, what, what do we want from the next generation? I mean, a lot of gimmicks are coming, but do we? Let's start with power. Do we want more power? Do we need more power? Do we want better graphics? It's kind of a must. I mean, that, that's the one thing people look for in the next generation. Right, that's the first thing they see. I don't know. I saw the new um, Assassin's Creed, and those graphics look pretty freaking amazing. Yeah, so, I, I, I mean, don't know how much farther out, you can yeah. take graphics. Have we, burnt out, have we burnt out these systems? Do we really need a next generation system? Because these consoles, this generation of consoles are still wowing people mm -hmm. with the anti-motion that they use yeah. uh, in L.A. Noir. Yeah, that was like a huge thing. Like, that's what I want to see more of in future games. And if we have that technology and it's capable to be capable to be run on the consoles that we already have, why do we need to raise the bar? Because if we raise the bar anymore, we'll have a game spanning twenty discs. I mean, La Noire was on what, three discs alone. Well, not on the PlayStation. I mean, well, if we're sticking with the current generation, people playing three sixty are going to have ten disc games. Mm -hmm. That, okay, that brings up like a better point. So if there is like a future generation, like Blu-ray is a must. Obviously yeah. when uh, 360 and PlayStation, they were doing their little back and forth, you had, okay, Xbox is, gonna, Xbox is gonna back up the HD DVD and then Sony took the Blu-ray and you saw how that turned out. Now that Blu-ray has run, our, wait, one? one? Did they run or did oh, they the run? the West was run. My name is Josh with my favorite color, it's clear. Now that uh, PlayStation has <laughs> won that, uh, that race with the, uh, the Blu-ray, Maybe moving forward with any new consoles, it would just be Blu-ray and we won't have to see 16-disc games coming out for the Xbox. Okay, you, you guys veered off. Graphics! We're talking about graphics, not how many discs it takes. Well, the better the graphics in a game, the, the more space it's going to take. But even still, you know, I'm actually going back and playing Mass Effect the game, one of my favorite games of all time. I'm, I'm on my Xbox Slim, I have my uh, HDMI plugged into my HD television, and it looks great. Even for a game that's been out for five years. Oh, you're bossy. Show on my HD TV. <laughs> I got so the things plugged in in the back with the AC on my shit. Is so beautiful. Do, do, but do any of you feel like when uh, whatever system you're playing on? That the games you're playing, do you feel like cheated by the graphics that you currently have now? Are you really hungering? With you're the, like, with, oh, I with, really wish this with, looked more. With the sixty dollars price tag, that's a that's a, a very valid. Point. Well, like hmm. Deus Ex just came out this week, and a lot of reviewers are complaining that it's a great game, but the graphics could have been a little bit better. So if the if the developers don't have the time, stole the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> they opened wow. up the box and took out the graphics. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, oh current events. <laughs> That's Where Enix didn't make a deal for all these graphics, <laughs> so we can't respect that. We took the graphics I'm sorry, out. I'm sorry, I got yeah, it. but I think like another generation of consoles, <laughs> I mean, aside from all the money we're gonna have to shell out for them, will allow the developers an easier access to nicer looking <clears throat> graphics. <clears throat> Chrissy, what does the chat think? <laughs> Well, uh, there's a lot going on here. Um, some people don't even care about graphics. They want better gameplay. They want no limit on friends. Um, let's see. Who who, uh, who mentioned the friends? Do we have a do we have a name attached to that one? <laughs> <laughs> He, no, he has no friends. Really good point. I'm like, um, the DCD said DCD, that, like, DCD. and I agree. On the 360, or like on Xbox Live, you can't DCD, that, have like a, a limit. Great point. That's like, a really good point. How much storage space does your Xbox have? Anywhere between 60 to 250 uh, gigs. That's a personal yeah. question, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't storage space different than the actual friends you can have? Because I've been trying to friend Ice Cube for like 10 <laughs> years, and he just won't accept. He can't accept. He doesn't He's like too big you. for you. But, uh, like, he already has 5,000 friends. Some, yeah. some of us are uh, kind of popular, and why be limited to just 100 friends? It seems like a... Uh, like a stupid hold that they have on us. Wait, who are you talking about when you said us? Uh, really just you, dude. Uh, <laughs> really just people in general. Everyone yeah. knows Flitz. Like, everyone knows Flitz. <laughs> do you have to turn people away from your friends list, and do you feel bad about it? No, because I only got like 1,000 something. Oh, you mean on uh, Xbox? Yeah. <laughs> in real life. No, you can't Not be my friend, life. sorry. Oh, uh, yes, my, my friends list is full. So, I mean, will this be something that, I mean, the next uh, generation remedies? Uh, with, especially with the arcade generation dead, uh, people were staying in a house, and now people are gaming more at home. A lot of times it was you played your console game, your Genesis, your Super Nintendo at home, but you went out to be, uh, you social? went out to be social right. to arcades. And the only people who really stayed home but were still kind of social because they were playing online were the people with computers. PC gamers, yeah. With this next generation, will it completely kill PC gaming? Like, well, is this, is this, or what's, is it holding PC gaming back? Yes, it's definitely <laughs> holding PC gaming back. I know a lot of our audience would agree that like, if you're gonna buy a game, as much as I'm a console gaming, I know where to pay respect. Like, the graphics of what a PC can run, it's amazing. It looks so much better on a PC. And like, when they're putting out like third party games, like, they need to like, back things up just a little bit so the game could be played on PC and consoles. Uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely holding the, the PCs back. I but think. I don't think that that means that people that are like serious PC gamers are then all of a sudden go out and buy the new console just because they have graphics. I think if you're a PC gamer, you're probably going to stay a PC gamer. I don't think you're going to be like, oh, now that Xbox put out this crazy graphics, now I'm going to go buy one. If but, they hadn't, like if nothing about Xbox made you want to buy one before, I don't think new graphics are enough to make you now be a new consumer. But that, I mean, will that, will that, with the next generation, will that... And if the next generation surpasses PCs at where PCs are already falling under a difficult price yeah. point where you can buy a system for like 400, 300 uh, first day and it's now with consoles becoming entertainment systems and you can watch Netflix, you can watch Hulu Plus and if the graphics are amazing, as good as a PC that you would have to spend $5,000 to mm -hmm. get, Will this kill PC gaming where consoles are now entertainment systems? They're it's, your one stop. It's a possibility. I just think that there is such a, a serious community of PC gamers that'll probably hold on until the bitter end. But if you're going to tell them that, look, every game that you love on the PC, we're going to have the same graphics and we're going to have it on this console and it's going to be at a lower price point, that might actually make a few people, you know, switch over. But I think the ones that they're really going after are the PC gamers that probably also have a console at home that are used to that system and they're going to then maybe just trade up the amount of time they spend PC gaming and console gaming. Damn, you smart. <laughs> that was hot. Y'all got knowledge. <laughs> wow. Like, There's a warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think one of the big things we're missing out here is that with the with more power, yeah, you get more responsibility, Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh like, you get better graphics. Lame. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you get more you get better graphics, but you also have the possibility of better AI. So you can have better like computer like AI enemies. I mean, that'll improve gameplay. So they kind of come uh, hand in hand. You know, actually in a game, I want to see better AI for like the teammates that I have. Uh, like going in, uh, going back to Mass Effect every game nothing of all time. I'm talking about this more. But like <laughs> I'm playing like if I play on a harder difficulty, the uh, AI for the enemy gets uh, gets better. Uh, my my teammates still pretty stupid. Hey, let me stand here right in the center. Let's utilize the AI and spread it around the rest of the game so it's not just going towards the enemies or an external factor. Well, AI is good, 
But what about yeah? <laughs> what about a actual intelligence? Because now, uh, when this could be, it's it's just the the direction things are going as well. With if then uh, everything's like motion now, the connect, right. the move, the we, which which every and and, <laughs> and each one and each one keeps one upping each other with uh, these next. Is this the future of video games? Is, is this the next move? Will we just not have controllers anymore? And do we want that? Uh, I, personally, I, I hope not. Um, I think there's a, a difference in the type of games that you play when you're gonna sit at home and you're gonna play on your controller and you're gonna play a certain kind of game. Not saying that I don't enjoy having my friends over drinking some beers and playing Tiger Woods golf and actually swinging the golf club. Like, and smelling that's, like a gym. That's fun to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I, you know, I, I, yeah, I, like, I like the motion idea because I think what is great about the motion games is you can have all your friends over, you can you know, have some drinks and get up off your couch and have some fun together. But I don't know if that makes it not as serious of a game or maybe it's just more casual gaming. Well, um, and, and I think there's a place for it, but I don't think we'll ever get away from the controller, ever. No, th there's that sense of control that you get in a controller that you aren't getting yet for motion control. Now, um, like I enjoyed the Wii when it first came out for... Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. For a few <laughs> minutes, uh, I, I did, but like, Will the Kinect have the same lifespan as the Wii did? No, the, it, it's already dying it's already, out. And like, yeah. people have stopped buying it. Yeah. It's not attractive. No one's used their Wii since it's, they first got it. Yeah, it's I still, not attractive I still play to Raymond's gamer. Raving Rabbits on wow. my way. Raymond? Yeah. By yourself Raymond. or Raymond's Raving Rabbits. Rabbits. I love to yeah. shoot the little, torture the little bunnies. You must it's be playing, so that's the Chinese knockoff of Raymond's <laughs> Raving Rabbits. Not <laughs> Raymond's. <laughs> oh, okay. Raymond's Raving Rabbits. Everybody loves Raymond's Raving Rabbits. Raving Rabbits. They got glow sticks. <laughs> Everybody loves Raymond. But um, oh, well, like, <laughs> that's E3, really funny. E3 this year <laughs> was all about Connect or PlayStation Move uh, add-ons to their to the future games. It was them and, trying to justify having the Connect with Microsoft saying, "Hey, you can actually use it in real games, like Mass Effect. You can tell them where to go. It's not just waving your arms, dancing to Soldier Boy anymore. Wow. There's some actual stuff in my." Now, I actually want to hear from the chat room on this. Like, were you guys digging all those uh, all the announcements about? Connect and PlayStation Move with future titles, especially like the sequels to games that that weren't based with motion graphics. So like that's like <laughs> when I was watching the announcements, that did absolutely nothing for me. I'm like, okay, cool, Mass Effect Three. What do we got? Oh, okay, I can yell at my team now. I do that already, mm. and uh, I don't know if I need it. So, what does uh, the chat think? Yeah, Chrissy, what do we got? I got a lot of stuff here. So here's what I've been hearing so far. Sideshow two fifty three says yes, graphics setting and control options. Oxilis, uh, the current level of consoles is making PC games better than ever. Kenji, JX Samurai, oh, PC Kenji. gaming, home of the indie devs like Minecraft. Curtis1105, but the downside of PC games is that you have to do some serious upgrade if you have a computer that is more than three years old. Mm -hmm. um, Vegs says, a console will never kill PC gaming. A PC can constantly be updated to suit needs, the console remains as it, it's sold. Not if you get the Dell. Who said that? Vegs. <laughs> By the way, the sponsor is Dell. The <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. alien, oh, alien return win. says, um, a big one I'd like, and I'm not sure if it'd be more of a develop, developer issue, is cross-platform multiplayer. I want to be able to play the same game with my friends on yeah. PS3 I, with my Xbox. That brings, up, that brings up the next point. Yeah. yeah. That brings up the next point. That's like a wish list. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, what do we want in the next consoles? Uh, first of all, uh, with with the possibility, and with you, you see how everything's moving to DLC, will we see cloud gaming where you can download not only, uh, and it's, this is already pretty much starting with uh, PC games, uh, where you can, you're, you're signed in, you you and you download your games. It's like video like on Steam. demand. I think exactly. all of us now but it's that, like gaming yeah, on it's demand. Like video so on demand. Is all on live demand. was all live on to something and will we have the bandwidth to do HD gaming with no problem or just download the game? Because the question do you, but now uh, they say oh you can play any game on like online for example they say you can play any game instantly. So my question is let's say you want to play uncharted which is a PlayStation exclusive on and a 56k connection. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what about, you know, is it, are you going to play it on your on your laptop when you're walking around? Do you have to get another controller and well, plug it in with USB. Well, here's the thing, have you guys played? Because I play in Arkham Asylum on the on live, and it's actually pretty. It's pretty cool. Do you play with a controller or no, do you just play? Keyboard. It's like it's a, on like your it's keyboard. A thing. Or you can plug in a USB controller. Okay. Can we see? Well, I mean, and can we see consoles with online type systems with no hard media where GameStop's pretty much out of business because you get the game uh, online like. 
You... GameStop will always find a way to screw over again. Well, <laughs> Blockbuster would have too if they still existed. I uh, think there's one. Oh, snap! <laughs> snap! <laughs> Burn. <laughs> with um, with f- further generations of consoles, will we see less exclusives? I, I think there might be too much money in it to say no. Mm-hmm. Do we but want to? Is there too much money? To, maybe like um, what happened with uh oh shoot Samba de Amigo? No, not Samba. <laughs> uh, rock band. Rock band. What was the game? It was exclusive. It just went multi-platform. Uh, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Uh, Metal Mass Gear. Effect. Mass Effect. Holy crap, how do you like 10 times? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We need a replay of that. Replay not, one more time. No. You are not a fan. I'm a fan. You're just... not a fan. You're off the show. <laughs> Bitch! He <laughs> just slapped me! This <laughs> you just one slapped more me. time! One <laughs> more time! <laughs> one more time! Mass <laughs> Effect! <laughs> Bitch! So yes, the game like Mass Effect, my favorite game of all time, like, it was making, like, it's too big of a game to keep as an extent. You fucking slap me! <laughs> it's a too, much, too big of a game to keep on one console. Uncharted is amazing, and I'm gonna buy it for the PlayStation 3, even though I, I, I prefer some achievements over trophies. I don't know, I have a better sense of accomplishment. But, um, will one day, will we see Uncharted 4? On the Xbox, just so. But so- do we want that? Because then the only difference is the controller and right. the pretty little box you get. I, I think we need the exclusives. I think it, it, it builds we have a competition. For Miss Meredith in the chat. Pardon oh. my interruption. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Hollywood RS says, uh, "What do you do you think, Miss Meredith, about using the Kinect to take over the Giants or Yankees?" <laughs> what? <laughs> or what? Um, there's another one. Do you think sports games make better use of motion tech? Ooh. Do you want the next? Um, do you want to be the next Eli or Jeter? Jeter. Jeter. That's okay. Okay. It's all right. He's a shortstop for the New York Yankees. We'll talk about that later. What are Ooh. Yankees? Um, Daryl Jones. We're gonna address that. Oh no, I don't watch sports. They go and against the Cardinals a lot. Ah. Uh, I, I don't foul? know what the question means necessarily by saying, "Will the Connect take over the Giants and the Yankees?" I don't. I don't know what they're asking. Well, there, what? but um, I think as far as I, I have a PlayStation Move and I also have a Wii, I think Meredith has a Wii. I do. I have <laughs> a Wii. Sorry. No, no, no. But I also have a PlayStation Wii. Move, and I, I really do think that <clears throat> the Move learned mes- maybe from what the Wii first did, uh, because I know if I play Tiger Woods Golf, um, I can drive the ball like 500 yards so uh, on my Wii. Because it's Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the motion controller is a little more sensitive. So as far as playing sports games on the Wii or the um, PlayStation Move, I prefer the PlayStation Move because sports games are a lot about um, distance and technique, and I think it's just a little more accurate on the PlayStation Move than it is on the Wii. Yes, the um, I you- don't have the Wii Motion Plus though plug-in on the bottom, mm. and I heard that that helps with torque, but. Again, that's more of like a Harry Potter wand. Does it help with the graphics? Then, no. <laughs> then necessarily a swing of a golf club. One thing that I did like with the uh, PlayStation Move over the Kinect was a better 1-1 scale movement. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I, and I wish there was more of that in the Kinect if they do move this to the next uh, generation I have not. Consoles. I can't comment on the Kinect because the only thing I've done on the Kinect is the dance party. That's literally the only thing I've done the, on the Kinect. It was so. the only good thing about the Kinect, yeah. so you're <laughs> so fine I, I don't want to talk about the it. The movie game is terrible. <laughs> Did you guys so, play the movie game? The, no. the show you movie game was awful. It was so mm. bad. So I was saying about cloud gaming. Uh, <laughs> do we do we need it? And I say I say I say or cross platform or exclusives. Exclusive. I think we I do think, need exclusives. I think it does. Yeah, exclusives yeah. push the the next the other competitor to exactly. like make to better, better games. games. You know, the competition, but not are bad. If you're gonna do cross platform games and then. Some of them, like on Xbox, you can do the online like, like live chat, and that's not necessarily something that would work, I think, across both platforms. And if it does, then all you're going to get is you're going to get Xbox and PlayStation fans just talking shit about how the other game sucks. <laughs> Internet, the the Internet. Internet, go! All right, Internet. so 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 do we? Uh, so so the question is, uh, do we want a next generation? Like, do we want the next generation of consoles to come out next year? Do we need no next generation? No. no. Well, uh, what do you think, Flitz? Um, you need a few more minutes to decide you know what, what to uh, order. I'm running. I'm staring this ship. You answer the damn question. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say you know what? yes. That that that's doing next generation. I want to see one disc con- uh, one disc games for Xbox. I want to see better graphics of games. I know that the technology is there. That let's fucking utilize it already and just uh, let's take it to the next step. 
Oh, me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The nerd in me says yes, I want new toys to play with. <laughs> My wallet says no, I'm not ready to spend another like $400 on a new console. So I say no, because I'm growing up, I have to be a little more money conscious now. I, w I, 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 can, I say we can wait. Uh, I think, you know, anything that is worth it, you wait. Uh, for a couple of weeks, then she's just going to have to do it. Hey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. I, I, I think we can wait. Uh, we, we are showing that we can get a lot more out of these consoles, and we are in a recession. So <laughs> just keep perfecting that technology and then give it to us. I mean, it's projected we're going to get one in like 2014 anyway. Uh, and Another recession? You said no. Yeah. I say no. I think, I think there's already so much that we can do with what we have right now. I don't think also necessarily we've mastered the motion control and the 3D aspects of the platforms we have now. So I think, if anything, let's spend the money on the technology to perfect those aspects of the platforms before we start moving on to a next generation console. So, who's at the bottom of the barrel? I, am I the only one that thinks that it's time for a next generation console? Yep. All by yourself. <laughs> Nothing new there, folks. <laughs> uh, you know, Shire, I think you are the only one because the chat is pretty much saying no, the next the next next gen console should be a PC. Consoles are no are good. Uh, let's go back to cartridges. Um, wow. Make them wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can't in, trust the internet. In that to case, me. in that case, case I'm, I'm gonna stand on my soapbox. <laughs> no. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Get just your soapbox. All right. Um, like, let's really take a look at like. Yes, we can still do better on the console on the consoles that we have now, but how much better can we do? They're just going to be small, tiny leaps that keep us a little bit impressed. Like, oh, hey, cool, cooler graphics. Hey, one less disc to play. That's nice. And as long as we don't know what else is out there, we're going to be completely happy with whatever they add to the current generation. I say, let's just raise the bar. I know, I know that Microsoft, that Sony can do so much more than what they have right now in front of them. So that it's been six years. Let's let's take things to the next level, gaming wise. And if if you're worried about Kinect, you're worried about the PlayStation Move. Let's make sure that they're completely compatible with the next generation of games because motion gaming is here to stay. Um, whether you like it or not, other people do, and so it makes money. It's going to happen. Uh, let's have more to play with. Uh, don't give me the giant six hundred starting price. Uh, $600 starting price because that's absurd. But even still with games like the 3DS that's been out for like four months, it's already gotten the price drop. I think we will see that again with future consoles as well. I don't think price hey, is an option. Hey, 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 what? what? Wrap that shit up, B. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap that shit up. It's my soapbox. <laughs> Get your ass off this. on a ramble box. Where's the, where's the Chappelle light? While we're yeah. over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap that shit up. While we're over I here, Joven Shire, I think it's time for Pitch this. Yay! There it is. There it is. There it is. Yay! Pitch this. Yay! Uh, <laughs> since I am sadly on my own with yes, that's given you uh, console generation. Uh, we're gonna take a look at our earlier question today, which was if you could uh, up, if you can add one feature to the next gen consoles or fix one problem that's just not working yet, what would it be? Now, on that note, we, we've got a bunch of Twitter uh, responses, and we're gonna go to our lovely chat, sh chat host, Chrissy, to see uh, what we got. Chat ho. What were the top <laughs> three? <laughs> Did you just call me chat ho? Chat ho. Chat ho. Chat ho, I guess. <laughs> well, um, by Tatsuo, um, he would like a CD changer. Ooh. A CD changer? <laughs> like a disc changer. That's what you're putting in his car? A sack of a Maserati? <laughs> CD? First of all, we use put a CD please. changer in the back of your car so you can game yeah. while you drive. I really want to be able to drive. something that could just play my eight tracks, man. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so sick of just not being able to play my eight tracks. <laughs> I want a laser disc player too. Okay. Um, all streaming of games, so no discs by Oxilius. Okay. Okay. I like that one. And a more so? efficient rating enforcing slash enforcing to penalize jerks and cheats by Rogue uh, by Rock X. Rock. Rock. You got really good. You gotta penalize Rock. those guys, man. Penalize, penalize them penalize. good. Penalize. Or penalize. penalize. Okay, so. <laughs> Alright, so we have, just to recap, we have. Um, Disc changer. Disc changer. We have. <laughs> CD uh, changer. No, CD, CD changer. changer. Uh, non physical copies of games and uh, a better rating system, which. Uh, I see that. Uh, personally, I, I'm, a, I'm a lazy nerd. 
I'm a lazy, lazy nerd. So if I can pop three games in there that I'm playing currently and just with my Xbox controller say, okay, do game one, game two, game three, uh, my vote's at uh, Disc Changer. Yeah, but downloadable games will solve that problem. Ooh. <laughs> I agree. Ooh. Too late, you Ooh. can't take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I have another request on the Twitter I just got. No, no. Wondering. I'm going to interrupt you. I'm sorry. But this will make it very difficult. But the DCD is requesting that we have a console with me, customized Catwoman controller. Please. Uh, I'm for that. So we can control Just saying. Chrissy? No! Ooh. It's all kinds of wrong. Anyways, proceed, please. <laughs> Juvenshire. It's a touchback. All right, oh, uh, well, Flitz, what do you got? Just what would you, me. You, you, I thought, seemed very happy with your... Man, stop trying to skip Kim Jong. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist. I will nuke you. All right. <laughs> so what was the third one? I remember I liked the third one. I don't remember what it is. It that was woman a controller. Rating. 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 <laughs> yes, I would like to get rid of the idiots that play on Xbox Live. I'm talking to you, seven year old British kids. Mm. Got a little quiet in here. I'm, I'm totally pounding you. Pounding you. Pounding. I'm, <laughs> I'm going with uh, the, the, the no discs. I, I It does get rid of a collector's edition thing. But we'll just have to find something new because honestly, eventually it becomes crap. But wait, you can like, get a JPEG. Gamers, are like, <laughs> yeah. I think Limited gamers fall into the, the like the collector category. Is that really something people want to step away from? Like, actually, having a physical copy. You can pick up the physical copy with the code inside, unless you buy it from GameStop. Is that like a yeah. You didn't know. You didn't want to. You didn't know that you wanted a phone without wires until cell phones became popular, homie. No, I wanted to walk away from my wire. Phones had wires. Meredith. <laughs> 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 Um, I'm gonna have to agree with you and the downloads. I think uh, we were talking about this before. The Mac Air now doesn't even have a disc reader built you into the laptop. It you download nice. everything. Virtual hard drives. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm totally a uh, video on demand whore, and um, I like instant. I want instant gratification. <laughs> and so if I can just instantly download right there, I don't have to go to the store. Oh, I don't have God. to <laughs> sign up for GameFly. I don't have to do any of that. I can just have it there at my beck and call. That's what I want. We are talking about games, right? Yes. I lost track. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost at time. So, <laughs> it looks like <laughs> it looks like uh, media wins. It looks like no no hard. All right. Media. Well, I guess the votes have it. So, uh, who gave us that, Chrissy? Uh, the physical copyless games. Who wants instant gratification? The streaming of games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was the Auxilius. All right, well, uh, congratulations, Auxilius. You've won a really cool shirt from uh, nerdkungfu.com. We'll be getting that to you in uh, just a few days. We'll get that shipped out once we get all of your information via Twitter. But don't worry, all three of the winners tonight have won Xbox tokens for the drawing that we do here at the stream.tv every month to win a free Xbox 360 Connect bundle. So uh, that's exciting, so good for you guys. I'll be contacting you very shortly. Be sure to uh, respond with all your information just as quickly so we can get things moving. But again, congratulations to Auxilius for not wanting physical games. And that <laughs> is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to thank all our sponsors, well, Joven Chai would like to thank all of our sponsors. <laughs> Actually, yeah, uh, Nerd Kung Fu and Global Geek News, big fans of the, or uh, big friends here of the stream, big fans too. Uh, but I really want to uh, look at uh, one of our friends over at KamikazeExpo.com, uh, or just the Kamikaze Expo in general. They're having a huge, huge LA convention this uh, this November, actually. So fifth and sixth. November 5th and 6th, there actually, you know. to be exact. For those of you who could yeah, read. We can count. There you go. You can and, count uh, on me. You know what? I'm feeling generous. Uh, our winner tonight, who is our uh, Auxilius? You know, I'm going to give you two tickets courtesy of Kamaz Kamikaze Expo for this event. So, Whoa, this wow. November, that's huge! You're going. Have fun getting there from South Africa. <laughs> so, uh, courtesy of Kamikaze Expo, we're, we're, we're taking you to the uh, we're taking you to the con. Fly to LA for Kamikaze. There you go. And uh, this Tuesday is a big event for all of us. Is at Meltdown Comics in the LA area over here in Hollywood. They're actually going to have a giant, giant reboot launch party, midnight launch party, where the entire cast of Geek Down is going to be there. And uh, we want to see you as well. So this Tuesday, 10 p.m. at Meltdown Comics. You can check them out online for all the details. So thank you very much, Mr. Jovenshire over there, long-winded Willie. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Brett, nobody call her. Hi, hi, hi. You can follow Jovenshire at thejovenshire.net. What? No. At CompuServe, right? No. <laughs> no. What's your Twitter? At the Jovenshire. At the Jovenshire. Oh, yeah. At the Jovenshire. <laughs> I'm at the stupid. 
I am Flitz, and I rep a bunch of sets, nerdiest kids, 8-bit zombies up in the building, you know what I mean, <laughs> representing, watching on Dashboard TV on Monday, uh, yeah, 2 o'clock, PST, Miss Meredith Mellon. You are so cute. <laughs> I hate you, Flitz. You can follow me on Twitter at rockme underscore re, follow uh, thetester.com, and get out there, upload your profiles so people can vote to have you on my show. We would love to have you. Tester.com. Thank the you. Thetester.com. So Thank sorry. you, Ms. Meredith Molinari, for coming <laughs> on the show. My Thoroughly pleasure. enjoyed. Thank you for watching. You've watched Geek Down. You can never have this 45 minutes of your life back. <laughs> never. No warranty. We stole it. Nope. We stole it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Give us more of your time. Go to geekdownshow.com. Follow us on, on Twitter at geekdownshow and facebook.com slash geekdownshow. Why don't you do some behind the scenes videos? Where can we find those? Uh, at Vivid. geekdownshow.com. Oh. <laughs> geekdownshow.com. Keep that show. See the theme? It's happening. Taking over. Bye. Bye. Bye.